from Hollywood, it's the Tom Likas Show. Yo, it's your boy, holla back. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Likas 101, the ongoing on-air adult education course that teaches men how to get more tail for less money. Just as importantly, we teach women how men think. I am Professor Tom Likas here at 1-800-5-800-TOM. 1-800-5-800-866. It's Alex on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. What's going on? Not much. Listen, I got a little problem. I've been dating a girl uh, for about five years. And uh, Wait, you're how old? I'm 22. Strike one. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm 22, and I've uh, been dating her for five years, and I uh, got my own place, and um, she's uh, lately been really pushing it, and she's been trying to move in with me. And uh, I keep saying, you know, no, no, I like my space, I like being a but bachelor. This is what that. happens when you start dating somebody at 17. Yeah, but it all started out, you know, being a high school sweetheart and all, you know, we were just both kind of lazy, I guess, to find anybody else, and what we had kind of worked out, so stick to what works. Well... Uh, if I were you, um, <laughs> the answer is no. Yeah, no, I mean, I'm, I'm not. I'm not really. I, I'm not going to let her move in. You know, I'm not going to do that. But I mean, she's got more things on her mind. You know, she's been talking about marriage and kids and all that. And, and like, trust me when I, I tell you, ready. she is. Uh, she is not on birth control, and she's going to be piercing one of your condoms any day now. <laughs> yeah, I've been using rubber, man. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not and what birth control is she on? She's not. She's That's not, my point. And what kind of women don't use birth control? Well, she's got it's no, she's got some kind of a health problem where it's it's bad for her, so she can't use. That's it. that, that, that hey, pal. <laughs> you need to learn more about birth control. <laughs> That's just the pill. There's ten other forms of birth control. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I never really looked into it. I mean, it's uh, time I, to look into it. It's time to go with if you're going to be with her. It's time to go down. And by the way, if you're not going to be with her, it's time to go by yourself down to Planned Parenthood to get a get a little information about that. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'll definitely look into that. Yeah, you can but, uh, never accept that as an excuse. By the way, I don't believe any of that stuff when women say that. Mm -hmm. I don't. They they just want to have babies. Yeah, I mean, she's been talking about it, and like you know, what should we name our kids? And there like, we you know, go. That's, yeah. Hello. If That's you keep part. having sex with her, she's going to find a way to pull that condom off and have a baby. And honestly, you use rubbers about 95% of the time, right? I'd say less than that. Less than that. Yeah. What do you think is going to happen? I, I pull out. I pull out. Pal, pull out. pal, the pull out method does not work. No? No. You are not educated. Yeah. I mean, you know, I just... Well, my question was originally, well, I mean, I'm not going to let her move in. I'm not going to do that. But, I mean, I mean, you're, you're, you're basically scaring me that she's going to do something. She me. is going to do yeah. something. Control. She's not using birth control, uh, control because she's hoping for that happy accident. Got it. Which will lock you in. All right. DTB? Definitely. Yeah. Where's your will... bullpen, dude? I will uh, follow your advice and uh, do that tonight. Move on. Move on. Move on. Because this is a time bomb. All right. I'll switch over an email and tell you how it went. And stop with the 90% or 85% of the time using a condom. Mm. When a woman isn't using birth control, it's because she wants an accident. Got it. If she's already asking you what to name the kids, trust me when I tell you, that is a plan on her behalf not to be using any birth control devices. Okay. Well, I'm going to DTP tonight. I'm um, 100%. It's been five years, but, um, you know, whatever. It's There's over. Not, Time to move on. A lot of them more, yeah. That's Thanks, it. Tom. Really appreciate it. All right. Good luck to you, Alex. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. This is Tom on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hello? Yes? Yeah, you talking to me, Tom? No, I'm, ta I'm talking to someone else. <laughs> hey, you know what, man? I could, I could barely hear you. you got to give me a little bit of... Uh, Can you hear me hear now? You. I'm, driving, I'm talking and driving at the same time. Hey, uh, I never listened to your show. First time I'm listening to it. Uh, uh, I want to make a comment about the guy who was from El Salvador. The caller you had. Right. Tony. Okay. Well, that was he, Tony. Tony. Whatever his name is. You know, the, the best advice for that guy would have been... Go back to his own country. 
We don't need stupid people like that here in our country. Uh, pal, this, this is not, you know what, this is not the Rush Limbaugh show, okay? Well, it's pretty close. No, the, the, it's the not. Kids, the call. Come on. It is um, not the Rush Limbaugh show. That's not what we do here. Well, what you, <laughs> Go back to AM radio, go back to the conservative talk shows if that's the kind of show well, you, you want. You know what, I'm not a conservative, I'm a liberal, to uh, be honest with you, Well, Tom. go back to El Salvador is not the kind of thing that I'm going to say to somebody who calls in, especially somebody who's here legally. Oh, he wasn't here illegally, remember. He you is know? here. He has a green card. Well, that doesn't mean he's legal. Green yes, cards have an expiration it does. date. They don't go on forever. They, uh, green cards go on forever unless you screw up. No, that's not how it works. Yes, they get you. Forever. They will renew them unless you have been in I'm telling you, I I have dated more illegal aliens and more women going through the <laughs> the, the 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 process of immigration than you'll ever know. Well, probably so. I know I've never all dated any about it. Alien, well, I'm like telling you, it that's how it works. Okay, you're telling me that's how it works. I'm telling you that's that is how, how it works. works. You, you know, don't know if, if unless you are with the INS, sir. I'm telling you, you don't know what you're talking about. Well, then, I, like I said, Tom, you and I will have to agree to disagree. Well, I, I, I guess you know. Uh, you know what? You're not going to change this show into you telling me how smart you are and how stupid I am. That's not that's not the concept of the show. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Here comes George on Like Us One Hundred One. Hello. Hello, Dad. First time caller, long time listener. Thank you, son. Okay, so I've got a little bit of an issue. I'm uh, 25 years old. I used to live in like kind of fraternity style living, like a bunch of guys in the house. To be completely honest with you, I'm kind of a stud. Like I get a lot, of, uh, and I'm kind of over it. Um, I'm dating this little 18 year old right now. She wants to move out of her parents' house, and I'm thinking about getting moving in with her. Why? Uh, I dig her, man. She's real driven, goal oriented. She keeps me in check. She. Uh, why? Do, why does that mean she has to live in your apartment or your home? I don't know. I take the cooking and cleaning, you know? Uh, it's a lot cheaper to get cooking and cleaning from a professional, believe me. <laughs> well, I'm not at that point in my life where I can really Because you it. know how much she's going to put into the home? Uh, nothing. You're going to pay for everything. Oh, man, she's kind of a go-getter, you know? Like, I'm... I'm, uh, I'm do, yeah, guess what? Guess what? She will not be a go-getter when it comes to putting money into the pot to pay the household expenses. You know, that, that, that might be true, but I mean, I, well, I see it's kind of a little bit of um, like, just kind of duties-wise, you know? I guess, take, well, uh, why, are you asking me a question, or are you just calling to make an announcement? Actually, uh, that's a question. Give me your advice. What is, I, don't do it. Okay. Cost-benefit analysis. <laughs> this will <laughs> cost you more than the benefit of her services. Okay, well, I mean, I'm, I'm 25 years old. I'm still living with a bunch of guys, you know, doing the whole, like, young guy thing, like... I don't know. When's you it, when's are it? a young guy, and by the way, you could just have one roommate. You don't have to have a bunch of guys. Okay. But you do not need a woman breathing down your neck, going through your mail, checking on what time you're coming home every day of the week. I mean, I'm a pretty simple guy. You know, I've been around the block, so... That's like not it. the point. If one night you want to go out with the guys, you don't need any critiquing or criticism. I mean, she's pretty fair as long as that goes. Like I work in bars at night, and she's been she's always been real fair with like giving me giving me my nights and giving me my time. Well, so. she hasn't lived with you yet. You think it'll change? Of course. Yeah, well, you're, you're you're the daddy, so I'm gonna. I'm to telling you, you you, don't, you you want a date her? Fantastic. You don't move them in. Okay. I mean, I've had hundreds of lovers. She's the best. So again, it's, you it's, don't it's, move them in. You don't move them in. You don't. You will pay for that, and you don't need that. Okay. And you don't need to be watched twenty four seven, which you will be. Okay. Well, that's your honest answer, and uh, I appreciate you talking to me, Mister Tom Likus. Can well, you can you take me out Kobe style and then blow me up? Yes, yes, I can. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. You're a beat in my heart. Oh. Yeah, there I breathe. She's so special to me. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. Like.
Vegas 101. I am your professor. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's Mike on the Tom Likas Show. Hey, Mr. Likas. How you doing, man? Doing great. Uh, first off, I want to just uh, applaud you for, for the work you do. I think you're absolutely like a god to most men. And I've been listening to your show for about a couple months, and I can't agree with I can't agree with you more on anything that you say. So uh, that's first. And pretty much, uh, like 10 minutes ago, a friend of mine called me and said that the girlfriend, who's my girlfriend, uh, who I've cheated on all about a couple of years now, because we're men, that's what we do. And I just, I want to know, well, she walked, she, my friend saw her walk into a hotel room with, a, with her ex-boyfriend. Why, are, why do you have a girlfriend at 21? <laughs> well, it's it, it, this is the thing. She 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 thinks I'm. I'm I mean, it's supposedly it, the label is there, but I mean, I don't really treat her like a girlfriend. It's it's pretty much like I do what I got to do. I do what I do. You know what well, I mean? Well, so uh, then she didn't cheat on you. She went out and had sex with somebody else. She's not your girlfriend. Well, well, uh, this is the thing. She thinks she she assumes that she's my girlfriend, and she she knows that. But she's not your girlfriend. Okay. Well, either either way. So who cares what she did? Uh. Uh, that's right, but I I, still, I just want to teach her a lesson. Just why? Listen. It, why? Why you said? What is the purpose of this? What is the purpose of it? Well, I just I, I really want to teach her not to be really messing around with me. That's that's the only thing. That, uh, her, I mean, pal, you're messing around with her. You get what you give. Uh, well, I, I guess so, but I, I mean, I, you I, are I, messing. You just told me that you let her believe she's the girlfriend, even though she's not. Well, that's true. She, she. So you, that, that is she, messing around with her. Oh yeah, I've been messing around with her because. Well, then this is what you get in return, that, and okay. and the fact is, you're acting like a little boy here. You think so? Yes, yeah. I do. I. You know what? I'm not even angry. You know, about let me it, tell you though. what a real man would do. Okay, a real man doesn't care what the woman he's banging is doing when he's not around. Oh, I see. Who okay. cares? I she, guess, I, who cares what she's doing? You're doing what you're doing. Hmm, okay. Who cares? But the thing is, I like I see her a lot. I bang her a lot, and like I guess I go out with her a lot. Why I don't do you? Do, why why don't you have a bullpen? Uh, I do have a bullpen. That's the thing. <laughs> well, I, I I think it sounds to me like you're spending too much time with this chick. Uh, and no matter what you're telling me, I think you've got feelings for her, and you're jealous that she's gone out with other people. Well, I mean. I I, I, don't, I don't know if it's... I guess it's a little bit of jealousy. It's just cause well, just, yeah, guess know, what, pal? Deal with it. Yeah, You know, the fact is, you bang whoever you want. Uh, and that's what she's doing. And you know what? That's a great situation. That's the way it should be. Just to, just to let her go, huh, I guess? Just be done with it. Keep, have sex with her and then have sex with others. And she'll do the same. Done. Wow. Beautiful. Don't you're be a man, little Tom. boy about this. You're the man, Tom Likas. You're the man. All right, Mike. Thank you, Melissa. Thank you. Stella. Stella! Yes. Yes. How are you, Tom? I'm doing great. So, um, I really don't have a question. Uh, I just wanted to comment on, um, like, the past few callers. Um, I can relate to them, you know, because I'm 21, and I go to school, and I have a full-time job and all that. But I think that people really need to grow up here and realize that you, they have choices. I mean, that girl that says, you know, she's dating the older guy that has the two kids, but she goes to school, like, she has a choice, you know? So, why don't, why don't everybody just grow up? I don't understand what you're trying to say. What I'm trying to say is when you, when you tell, like, like, for example, the other guy that called and said, oh, you know, you're too young to be dating at 21, or you're right. too young to be dating never, at 21. No, I never said people are too young to be dating at 21. I said at 21, you're too young to be having a serious relationship. Well, I'm 21, and I have a serious relationship. The, I, the fact that you do doesn't mean that you're not too young. You are too young. And you will find out because the relationship you're having will not work out long term in four out of five cases. Of course, you think you're the one that's that one out of five that will succeed, but chances are you're not. But, I mean, where, where are you getting, you know, statistics from? We've talked about this on the air. Uh, the, the younger you are, under the age of 21, having a serious relationship, the more likely it is that you will break up with that person ultimately. Well, I just think, I just think that, you know, people have a choice to either mess up their life or mess up Well, they up have life. a choice, but why mess oh, yeah. up your life? 
Right. So why do they? You know, like the guy from El Salvador, or the girl that goes to Cal State, and the, you know the one that you. What about you? Well, I go to I go to school and I'm working towards my degree and I have a full time job, but that doesn't prevent me from you know being a normal girlfriend and having this. But you don't have to be a girlfriend. You could be dating a variety of people, which you should be doing. But that's my choice, right? Well, it, it, the fact that it's your choice uh, doesn't mean that you've made the right choice. But it, it's right for me. You know, you it? could have a choice to jump off a tall building or not. It's your choice. But I would recommend not doing it. Yeah, but so, so then why do people call you and say, oh, I feel really stupid right now because blah, blah, blah. Well, if they feel stupid, then isn't that the wrong choice for them? So then why are they doing it? I'm trying to tell them they should not be in a serious relationship at such a young age, and neither should you. Well, okay, I guess, but I'm just... I, I You'll just, find out the hard way, dear, and, and, and you know, it's your life. Obviously, you made your choice, and later on, when he uh, bangs somebody else or bangs your best friend or whatever, you'll remember I said this, because he's too young and you're too young, and you'll find out the hard way. I can't reach right out of the radio and wring your neck. I can't. There we go. 1-800-5800-TOM. Tina on Like Us 101. Hello. Hi. Hi. Oh, my God. I have a question for you. Okay. Okay. I am 36. I am dating two guys. Neither one of them know about each other. Right. Totally agree with the third date, sleeping with them, because why waste my time? If they're not good in bed. Right. So probably by the second date, I slept with, I've slept. i already slept with both of them. But the question is, one is 32, one is 37. And I don't know at what age do they decide, like, how do you... I want a long-term commitment, a long-term relationship. That's what I'm looking for. That's why I'm dating two guys at one time. Why is it so hard for them to commit at that age? Isn't that the time that they're supposed to start committing? Uh, well, put it this way. Everybody doesn't do that. But how do you, how do you weed through them? How, what is, is there questions that you ask? And, you know, I mean, because I told well, you. Well, you have to ask them that question. Do you want a long-term relationship? <laughs> Tell you yes, because they don't want you to date nobody else. Well, uh, then, then you have to uh, obviously define what that means. I really don't. I don't just think. I think that if the more questions I ask, they're going to be like, you know, damn, that was a lot of questions. Yeah, well, that, that, but the point is, guess what? That's what long-term relationships are all about. You asking too many questions, you having conversations they don't want to have, you saying phrases like, we've got to talk, or what am I to you, your girlfriend, what am I, your fiancé, what am I, your squeeze, your booty call, what am I? It means having all kinds of conversations like that, which is why guys don't want to settle down. The guys, if I start asking those questions, and they're not really answering them, then that's pretty much the answer. They're, they don't... They don't want to. By the way, can I tell you something about men? Okay. You won't like this. Um, when a guy wants to settle down with you, he gives you a ring. That's what he does. He tells you. He tells you. No, but have to go... I mean, how many months... You know, a guy just doesn't do Darling, that. Darling, you can stop any time. You can stop seeing these guys at any time. But say, okay, you're, a guy gives you a ring. But how many months before, I mean, you have to date them before that happens. They're not going to just give you a ring. Well, if they want to keep you off the market, they will take proactive action. Okay. So you may already have your answer. I don't have an answer. They, they, has either one of these guys suggested getting married, moving in, uh, being monogamous? Either one? Um... One has asked me if, I've, if I'm dating anybody it's else. not the same. Has either one of them asked you to stop dating other people? No, it's only been like three months. Well, okay. when, when one of them feels that way, they will say that. So how long should I wait? Like six months? And this, by then? Well, you know what? You need an actuarial table. I see here you're 36 years old. Huh. You have less time to wait than women who are 26 years old. Exactly. 
So you have you have to uh, fish or cut bait within a period of time. So you're okay. Thanks, Matt. I mean, but, uh, think about it. I mean, by when do you want to be married? Next year? By 40? By when? At least like 38. 38? What is that? 18 months from now? <laughs> yeah. What, are you going to be engaged for a minute and a half? Nope. Maybe you need to be banging three guys. No, because um, uh, that's too much. That's too much juggling. Wow. That all right? Then maybe you need to uh, thin it down to uh, <laughs> to the guy who you think has the most potential. No, but they're both good, darling. Don't be like that. Don't be like. Don't that. be like. That. Look, you. They're both so good. That's not the sound of a woman who wants to settle down. No, I mean, if you are serious about settling down, you have to be proactive. And you have to start saying this guy's more likely to ask me to marry him than this one. You have to, and then you have to to eliminate the one you think is less likely. And then if that guy doesn't uh, uh, doesn't uh, ask you to stop seeing other people, you need to add another person into the mix. And you need to keep rotating them in and out until you find somebody who asks you to marry him, or asks you to live with him, or asks you to stop dating other people. Oh, I this is how it works. By the way, have you ever been married? What have we been doing all these years? Was it? I haven't been married. You haven't been married? Divorced for about 16 years. I got married young and divorced and just playing the field way too much too long. All right. Well, you know what, darling? At 36, you probably waited too long. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you're laughing. No, that's not fair. Uh, it's it's honest, and by the way, it's true. I don't get it, okay? I don't I I am very attractive. Has nothing to do with it. Hey guys, you know, a 1987 BMW is very attractive. <laughs> you know who owns those? Guys who can't afford a 2008 BMW. What's that? Oh, my God. That's how it works. Oh, no, I hate that. That's how it is. Just gonna have to basically. I mean, and I even get mean. I, I get straight up mean just so one of them would just say, you know, you're just too mean. And then, oh, cool, and I ain't gotta make the choice. You don't have to be like that. That's immature. You have to make a decision and cut one of them off. What I mean good is both have jobs, they both. You know, they both own their homes. They both don't want a monogamous relationship with you. Not at this point, anyway. All right. They don't. Let's go back in time, Tina. You've been dating for 16 years. This had to have happened to you. Have you ever been in a relationship with somebody? Or no, no, forget that. Have you ever been dating a guy? He wants you more than you want him. And he starts with the balloons and the flowers and the teddy bears and and the notes and the emails and the cards. Ever been with a guy like that? Uh, right? Uh, that guy wanted to get married. Uh, I wasn't ready. I, you know, That's I, not my point. That, you know what guys are like when they want to settle down because they start showing you. It was just so You've seen it, right? Yeah, but I afraid that you know that whole guy thing what if there was just something else better that's well darling <laughs> now now you're being like a guy totally huh? yeah that's why but you see if you if you think that way in reality you shouldn't be getting married you shouldn't be settling down bottom line bottom line I, I think so, too. I think sometimes I'm just, well, maybe I'm just not ready to settle down. Maybe you should just be like a guy. Tom. 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 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. It's Likas 101 on the Tom Likas Show at 1-800-5800-TOM. Let's continue. Here's Ron on the top like his show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Ron. 
Well, I just wanted to tell you that I've divorced my wife and I managed to keep everything I own in the process. Very good. I definitely, uh, well, she signed the paperwork a couple weeks ago, but it's all going to be final maybe in about 30 days. So for the most part, the dirty work's done. She doesn't want to contest anything. She took a bunch of garbage and she's gone. She's out of my life. Good risk. Wow. Very good. Very good. And part of it, I, I thought about some of the things and luckily we didn't have any children. That's the good thing. It's just that little, I hear that little voice. It was your little voice in the back of my head, and I want to say thank you. I am so proud of you, Ron. And are you now getting more ass than a toilet seat? Yes, sir, I am. Love that. I'm, I'm back on the front row of the class of Lycus 101. I'm happy sitting right there with a smile. Fantastic. Congratulations. But I want to say thank you, and if you'd like, you can take me out with a bong hit, sir. There you go, Ron. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. This is Amanda on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. I had a pretty much a theory that I've discovered. I want to run it by you. All right. Okay. I'm I'm 21. I'm not, I know I'm not old. I haven't seen everything I know. But the theory that I've developed so far in my relationships and everything is the fact about marriage. I've become comfortable with the fact that I may never get married. You know, I, I may get married, I may not. I know plenty of older people who've never been married and they're just as happy, you know. And um, because my, my thing is that it seems like men don't want to get married. It's like they only get married because the woman pressures them into it. We, don't, we, we don't want to be married. Exactly. <laughs> that's, that's exactly what I'm saying. So, And I was wondering if going through life and the rest of my relationships and everything is that a, a safe theory to keep i mean i'm i'm pretty much kind of laissez-faire about well you're only 21 i mean later on in life you might meet guys who want to get married but the guys you know now what, what they're only 21 22 22 why would they want to get married yeah exactly exactly what for <laughs> so, so i guess it's a it's the correct mindset i suppose for a 21 year old at 21, really you should not be it. even in a committed relationship, much less uh, have a boyfriend or get married or anything. No. Yeah. Okay. Well, I just wanted to run that by you. <laughs> well, there you go. You did. Right. Love, love the show, by the way. Thank you so much. David on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, how you doing, Tom? Doing okay. Hey, yeah, well, I got this problem I want to, like, uh, talk to you about. Are you there? No, I left the room. Oh, no, okay. <clears throat> Anyways, I'm uh, 27 years old. I, you know, I made the mistakes when I was young. I went out, you know, with the, had a long relationship with the female, moved in with her, didn't work, broke it off, had the single life, and then now I've got myself into a mess where I've, uh, I'm dating a uh, 26-year-old. She's got two kids. Why did you do that? Oh, uh, man, like, well, it you know, at first, they weren't involved at all. We were cool. You know, we just dated. I didn't see them at all, you know. And now, I'm basically, you know, part of their lives. And uh, the thing is, this female, um, she never, never gets mad. Never, like, seems like she's not worried about anything. But, you know, I've listened to your show, and you've said, like, no MySpace, no emails. No MySpace, no Facebook, uh, not having more than one email address. Right. No, I've no. asked her to erase it. No, no, forget that. It, <laughs> well, you, she says she's, like, clueless, like, oh, uh, I, I tried, but I don't know how to. Right. You know? And why are and you? Now, well, for, she, for, okay. Why are you with someone with two kids? Why are you doing that? Man, I, you know, I didn't plan it. But, I, but, yeah, yeah, you did. <laughs> yeah, I, you know what? I don't know how it happened. Yeah, you I do. Pictured myself, I pictured myself, you know, like living a bachelor life, you know, going out, having fun, you know. I do construction. I work a pretty good. It's all right, money. So you're not having fun either. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm stuck right now. Yeah, you're not and, stuck. Uh, Why are you stuck? Does she live in your house? No, no. I'm. So you're not no. stuck? No, she does not. So you're not stuck? And uh, now she says... How oh, are you? Wait, wait, you know, wait. How I are guess. you? How how are you stuck? 
Well, like, she's like talking about, oh, you know, we're going to be together. We're meant to be. Doesn't matter know. what she said. In what way are you stuck? Oh, uh, I guess I'm not. But, you know, I get like you said, I'm, she's not living with me. So I'm not. not stuck. So it's not a problem. You can get right out. I mean, it's been like a year. We've been dating about a year. So what? Yeah. Um, and, you know, like. Let me example, ask you. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. Uh, let, let's say I met somebody one time who was hitting himself in the head with a ball peen hammer. Right. I go up to the guy and he keeps hitting himself in the head. Ow! 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 And I say, hey, dude, how long have you been hitting yourself in the head with a hammer? A year. Ow! 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 Just because he's been doing it for a year, should he keep doing it? No. No! All right. The yeah, fact that you've been dating her for a year doesn't mean a damn thing. Yeah. One other thing that I like, you know, she tells me, oh, I ran into a old friend of mine. Sure and, she did. That's right. Yeah. One of the guys who and knocked I, her I up. I gave her my phone number. And there she's we like, go. and I'm supposed to be okay with it. You yeah. know, like. Yeah, like yeah, but you're allowing it. You you are tolerating it. And that's why she's doing it. Yeah. And she's like, well, if you don't trust me, you should trust me. We've been together. You know, I trust you. You know, nothing's going to happen. I don't plan on anything happening. You're killing me, but I, And I'm like, no, no. And I, and I say no, and it's like, Look, well, by the way, she's not... Wait, 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 wait. She's not planning on anything happening. That's very interesting language to use. Because what she's really saying is, well, I wasn't planning on something to happen, but one thing led to another, and suddenly he was having sex with me. I don't know what happened. Just yeah. like, and, by and the I, way, by the way, way, by the way, it's just the same way that you said you have no idea how you got involved with a single mother. Right. The same nonsense. So, I mean, it's it's nonsense both ways, in other words. So get out! Well, that's what you're telling me, right? We're both basically... You know, she wants but, to if she wants to have a Facebook page or a MySpace, if she wants to uh, be uh, meeting up with guys she used to know and giving them her phone number, it's time for you to go. Right. She should do that on her own. Right. I mean, I mean, I had a, you know, I, I, I told her like, no, like, like you gave him your number, like, no, that's like, a no, I don't like that. You know, and what, she's the, like, well, what, you should trust me. Why are you trying that. to reason with her? If she wants to give guys her number, that's what she's going to do. Right. Now it's time for you to act. Do you want to be with someone who gives her number out to guys? No. Nope. That you don't discuss it with her. You don't negotiate with terrorists. You know what I'm right. saying? You get out. Yeah, I mean, those are all, those are all signs, right? I mean, come on, a MySpace, an email, you know, giving your number to an old friend. But why, and you stop okay. trying to make the case. You already know the truth here. Get out. All right. It's over. Effective immediately. All right, Tom. Uh, you know what? Thanks for your advice. I'm going to call you back and let you know what I did. David, I hope you will. Tom, like it. Like it. 1-800-5800-TOM 1-800-5800-866 The Tom Likas Show This is my It's the Tom Likas Show Likas 101 from Hollywood at 1-800-5800-TOM That's our telephone number Wide open telephones on the Tom Likas Show tomorrow Straight up at the beginning, till the end, the whole show, that's it. So start thinking about it now, get ready to call me, deal with it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM, Julio, on the Tom Like His Show, hello. Tom, what's going on, man? I'm still a radio show here, Julio. I'm just listening. I got a, I got a crazy story, man. I had this friend, keyword had, okay, she's from another country okay so since i've been living in california she's been very friendly a very fallacious woman she is gives good advice <laughs> and at a certain point in time her papers came back where she applied for an extension on the visa with the denial okay okay so maybe i'm new to this whole california thing i've only been out here three years but when she called and asked that I marry her 
for the papers, I was kind of thrown off guard. And I said, wait a minute. You must not listen to Like It's One on One, baby. All right. Okay? I, I heard that people sometimes do it, and they offer money for yeah. you to marry them. Yes, they do. But she wanted to do it as a favor. <laughs> and I said to myself, what would Tom do? Okay. I, I would say no, even with money. And I, it's a crime. And that I wasn't sure about, but I was kind of, I was kind of leaning towards this. Doesn't sound legal. It's not legal. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, long story short, I said, "Well, I hope you do choose British Airways and have a safe flight." <laughs> How you like me now? I love you. You know I love you, Julia. Sounds good. Can you take me out Kobe style with a screaming orgasm, please? I certainly can. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Anthony on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey. I just had a question for you. Yes. Is, is it possible for, for a man to be happy, happily married with uh, to a single mom? And I just want to know, is, is it possible? Well, it's possible to jump off a 40-story building and live. It is possible. <laughs> yes. Right, right. No, but what I'm saying is... I heard you what know, you said. Yeah, I just want to know, like, if before, because I'm considering, I'm considering doing that. Why? Well, because, you know, everybody makes mistakes, right? She's made a mistake before. She got, you know, she had a kid young. She didn't want to do that again. And, you know, I, I believe in that. She, you know, we, I was raised by a good stepfather. She was raised by a good stepfather. I know I could be a good stepfather. Why not? Well, uh, why would you want to? Well, I just know that, you know what, she's mature. I've dated women without kids. They're, they're a little more wild, man. They, they don't, they want to do everything that... You know, why are you, you so anxious? Why are you so anxious? Let's start with this. Why are you so anxious to get married? Well, I mean, you know, time's ticking. I'm not... Time I'm is old, ticking? I mean. What are you, a bomb? No, no, but, you know, hey... What is this, Mission Impossible? Yeah, I just want to know if... if, if no, but what, if what, 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 you think that you have an expiration date? No. Like a carton of eggs? You think you have to be married by a certain date? Not not at all. So not why? All. what's the rush to get married to anyone? No, there, there's absolutely no rush. And, and but, wh why do you need to ever do that? So it, it's not possible. I, what do you mean, it's, what's not possible? To be happy... So they, they, you don't need to be married. Can't you just have a relationship? Of course, that's what we have now. And why do you need to get married? Why, if it's so wonderful, why tempt fate? Well, to, to just prove prove to her that, you know... What do you have to prove to her? Nah, that, that I'm going to be with her and only her. Well, why would getting married prove that? Many people who are married uh, have sex with other people anyway. That's true. That's so true. getting married wouldn't prove anything. So I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm just maybe I'm I'm confused. I don't know. Well, maybe you are. Yeah, I just feel like they 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 tend you know single mothers. I've dated a, a couple. They they tend to be more mature than. But but again, why why are you in the market for a wife? Well, because. You know, your, is your family forcing you to get married, or your? No, no. Not so at all. why why are you in the market? Like it's like you've been shopping for what? Well, well I tried dating younger women, but they were all irresponsible. They're all wild. But the, the single mothers are more mature. Who cares? If you're just banging them, who cares how mature they are or aren't? That's true, but you know you like to come home to something. It's what do you mean come home to something? How about coming home to yourself? I've done that. It, it's just, it's and not, you don't like yourself. Well, it, I love myself. You're, you're right. Maybe it, maybe it is that, but it's like 
I've always been like with someone. I'm not like. Well, if you don't like, like being with yourself, you've got a bigger problem that that that, that marriage is not going to solve for you. That's true. Then that's true. I don't know. I guess I just wanted to get your feedback on them. I gave it to you, and you know what my feedback was going to be before you called in. Yeah, but you know, I just figured it's like, hey, if you thought I would say to you, like, Anthony. I know I told all the other guys not to get married, but you sound like the exception to the rule. That's what you wanted. You wanted me to put the old rubber stamp on it. Uh, not getting it. See. You're not getting it. Uh, all right, man. Can you take me out Kobe style? Yes, orgasm? I certainly can. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. You're a beast in my heart. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I breathe. She's so special to me. Oh, oh, oh and I have oh, only... Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, God, Tom. Oh, oh. We have time only for one minute here. One call. This looks like the shortest call on the board. Jose, hello. Hello, Tom. Yes, sir. Hey, man, make a comment on all these clowns that want to live with their girlfriends, man. I'm 21. I'm going to school. I got a good job. I'm an accountant, and I'm majoring in accounting. I live by myself. I'm currently in my house by myself, and all I do, all I'm going to do right now when I hang up with you is call some broad over, have her come over, bang her out, send her on her way, and call another broad tomorrow night because it's Halloween, and go to a Halloween party, hopefully hook up, and that's my plan. All the clowns that want to live with their girlfriends, don't do it. Don't get married. If you're young, if you don't know nothing about life in your 20s, under your 20s, so just, you know, live life and date all, all kinds of people and bang broads. And uh, take me out of uh, Kobe style, please. All right, Jose, here you go. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, there I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Oh. Our email address is my name. Oh. It's Tom at blowmeuptom.com. Tomorrow, wide open telephones on the Tom Likas Show. The Tom Likas Show.